Hello my art friends, today we're going to be making a pirate ship in the ocean. So I'm going to start with my piece of paper, I'm going to start with a medium sharpie. Remember you guys can always start with a pencil first, in case you make a mistake you can erase it, a sharpie you can't. So first I'm going to start with the ocean waves. Um, the reason why I want to start with the ocean waves is because we want the ship to look like it's actually sitting in the ocean. I'll show you guys how to do that. So these are called choppy waters. It's when the wind's blowing or a storm's coming. It makes the water really hard to sail on. All right, so now that I accomplished my water, I'm gonna start with the body of my bow. So I'm gonna start with this line back here. Now, the reason why I'm not gonna draw it through the water is because it's sitting in the water. I know that we can see through water, but for this picture, we're just gonna make sure we're overlapping it so the ocean looks like it's in front of the bow. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line across. You're gonna take a step up, so we're gonna use a diagonal line going forward. This is gonna be the front of our ship, so it's gonna be pointed. So now I'm gonna bring this line down diagonally. I'm gonna add a little piece of wood right there. All right, guys, now I'm just gonna add some details to my boat. You guys can add any details that you want. Sometimes boats, especially these old boats, had cannons on them or they had something fancy decorating the front of the ship. You guys are more than welcome to add your own details, make it your own boat. You can even write a name for it. You always gotta name your ship. So these are just little windows on mine. Alrighty, and I still wanna add the detail of the boat too, so we're gonna add some wood paneling. I'll show you guys how to make that look more like wood. I'm gonna overlap and do a ghost line over the window so you just pick your marker or your pencil up to continue the line. Alrighty guys, and then to make this look like wood, you just add vertical lines that do not connect on each level. So if I'm gonna put another vertical line, I'm gonna make sure it's in between the other vertical lines. You don't want them to touch. It kind of makes it look like it's wood. Alrighty guys, now that I have the body of my ship, I'm gonna add the sails. So I'm gonna start with a curved line, or a straight line going across. These are gonna be my front sails. So I'm gonna start with the straight line up at the top. I'm gonna curve these two side lines because it's like the wind's blowing, so it's catching the wind and I'm gonna curve that bottom line. I'm gonna add one more underneath, so I'm gonna curve this line. Curve these ones the same direction to look like the wind's blowing and it's catching them. Alrighty, but now it looks like our sails are just floating, so we need to add the post. You guys could add a crow's nest on top, that's how they see things. They have somebody watch, okay? So there's one of my sails, so now I'm gonna add another one. This is the biggest one, this is the main sail. So I'm gonna add, we're gonna make these ones overlap, so I'm gonna add my vertical line, or excuse me, horizontal line. I'm gonna curve this line. So you see how it's overlapping, so this one's gonna look like it's in front of the big main sail, but we're gonna make this one bigger. You can add that curved line down there too. Alrighty, then we'll add a bottom one. Curve the lines on the side. Awesome, possum. All right, now we don't want floating sails, so we have to add the post. It's gonna curve a little bit. If your, yours goes off the paper, it's really not a big deal. Alrighty, and then you can always add one more in the back. I'll do it just because, um, but you guys don't have to. If you like it having the two sails, then you don't have to add a third one. If there's three, then that must mean it's a pretty big ship. So I'm going to add another horizontal line, curve it. And this one's not going to be as big as the main sail, so it's a little smaller. Curve it. Alrighty, tiny post. Now, if this is a pirate ship, you guys might consider adding something to the sails. Um, with pirate ships, it's normally like a skull and a crossbones. If you guys want to do a skull, here's my skull. You can make yours different. We're going to give them mean eyes because it's a pirate ship. 
color those in. Little crossbones, so I do two diagonal lines. I do the letter three, makes a bone. So two diagonal lines, a backwards three. Said letter three, sorry, haven't had coffee yet, guys. You're like, dang, Miss Moore, get back in the school. Alrighty, so that's gonna be my pirate ship for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Have a great day, bye.